getting ready to go into a favorite flea market and some thrift stores and see what I can find for Linda. Linda approached me with this idea a couple months ago and we, we came up with a plan. We would both go thrifting, she would go thrifting for me and I would go thrifting for her and we would create a gift basket. Each of us would create a gift basket to send to the other person. Each of us would spend no more than $25. Once I had my package ready, I would package it all up, send it to her, and then uh, she would do the same for me. We both kind of created a basic list for each other of things that we like. I tried to focus on that list, but there were other things that I found that I was like, oh, I just, I have to get that. But we stuck to that budget. It was a lot of fun and uh, I'm excited to see how she enjoys the gift basket that I packed for her. So then on this video, you get to watch me unbox the gift basket that she created for me. In order to see her gift basket that I created for her, you're gonna have to go over to her channel and watch her video. When this video is done, be sure and hop on over and watch. Her open her gift as well. I don't know if you'll be able to get into the box, Linda. <laughs> but we should have no problems with it coming apart. <laughs> All right, now I just gotta label it and get it sent. Hey, Chucky. Chucky, are you tired? Hey. Hey, Molly. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Let me introduce you to Linda. Linda is my friend. We've been friends for seven years now. We met when our mastermind group organized way back in 2016. And we have really forged a friendship over the past few years. Linda blogs at lifeonsummerhill.com. She also has an Instagram, Life on Summer Hill. And then her YouTube channel is A Life on Summer Hill. She is an interior designer who loves to help people create a space that feels like home. Linda is also great at DIY. She even has her own miter saw and she creates her own projects. She also shares paint tips and she will help you make any room look like a professional painted it. She is really good at paint. She also shares holiday decor and beautiful tablescapes for family celebrations and events. She loves to organize. She also shares these beautiful old art screensavers for your TV that you can put up on your TV and it's this beautiful scene and sometimes it has music, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's just a quiet scene. My kids and I actually love to put those up when we're working on school because they're so calming and peaceful and it also exposes them to art. So as their mom and teacher, I really appreciate that too. Linda and I have become very good friends over the years. She's encouraged me in ways that I, I don't even know if she realizes how much she has encouraged me. She is just one of those people that has this calm sense of purpose about her. She takes the time to make something beautiful, as much time as it takes, and she's very calm and methodical about it, but she's also, she's enjoying the process. And she has really inspired me. She will never know how much that has impacted my own life personally and professionally. She takes gorgeous photos. She's a very talented photographer. Last summer, she and her husband, Marty, came to the farm for a visit and we set up this ice cream social up in our pasture. I think it was at that point that I realized how easily it comes for her to just take a space and transform it into something beautiful. I mean, I had never thought about that space in the way that she transformed it. And it made me look at different areas of our farm differently. Like, what can I do here and what can I do there? But she took something that had a bunch of weeds and made it look gorgeous with a quilt and the whole ice cream setup. Linda also knows old Florida and Linda someday I hope to take a road trip with you so you can take me to all of those 
old places. We can thrift together. We can just enjoy old Florida together. We have a lot of things in common and one of the things we have in common is that we both love to thrift and we both love to antique. She's a girl after my own heart. So I hope that you will check out her channel, watch her videos, go subscribe to it, um, follow her on Instagram and start reading her blog because you're going to get a lot of tips and encouragement for your own home and space. I thrifted for Linda. I put together the basket, packaged it all up. Dan actually helped me tape it. Sorry, Linda, because <laughs> there was a lot of tape. We were making sure that package did not get tore up. Um, and I have received Linda's box. I got my handy dandy little mini pocket knife here. Okay, Linda also sent me a little note and I just wanna read it to you. She says, dear friend, I am so glad that we have become friends even though we are so far apart. I hope that this basket of goodies brings you joy and fun for your home. Let me know once you have pulled everything out and I will send you another message that explains where I sent some of the items and an idea on how to decorate with them. Love always, Linda, with a little heart. I'm so excited. It's a, it's a pretty big box. I mean, $25, Linda? And it's, it's not light either. It's not heavy, too heavy, but it's not light. So I'm gonna open it. Okay. I'm gonna put this box up here so that I can, oh, I already see a cute basket. I'm so excited. I love wicker baskets. I'm such a sucker for wicker. My my kids, well, my middle child tells me I have an addiction to wicker. And if I counted the number of wicker baskets I have in this house, there's a lot. There's a lot of wicker baskets. Okay, there's a lot of packing paper and a little bit of bubble wrap. Okay, I'm going to pull out look at this basket how awesome is that oh my gosh I love it this is gonna make such a cute harvest basket Linda for vegetables and stuff out of my garden it's gonna be so cute you'll be seeing this basket in a lot of future garden videos I'm pretty sure a cutting board <laughs> I was one, I don't, I did I have cutting boards on my list? I can't remember. I was really wishing that I had put them on there if I didn't because I've been wanting to create a little space with cutting boards and a little picture on my kitchen countertop. So this is perfect because this is like the exact type of cutting board I was wanting with the handle and everything. Thank you, Linda. I'm gonna set this over here with the, with the Guys, <gasps> look at it! It's a scale. Oh my gosh! It's got the little hands. The little hands are broken, but that's okay. I don't care. It is so cute. Look at the the bananas and the the foods. That is adorable. I love it. American Family Scale weighs 25 pounds by ounces. That is awesome. Okay, I wanna put this right here. Well, you don't know how many times I have eyed scales like this at antique stores, and they are way too expensive, and I bet you got a bargain on this. Some of these things are wrapped up, so I'm gonna unwrap them. Uh-oh, feels like this might have gotten broken. This is so cute. This looks like a little cream pitcher. Oven proof, microwave dishwasher out of Roseville, Ohio. This is stoneware. Is this stoneware? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. The little handle is broken, but that can easily be glued. I've got super glue that'll fix that right up. I am not worried about that. That is so cute, I love it. A little cream pitcher. 
Oh, this got broke too. Boy, this package must have been through the mail. That's okay though. I'm not, again, I'm not worried about it. Oh, this is so cute. This one will be, take a little bit more piecing together, but it's a little cow. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's a matching little little jar with a lid. How cute is that? It matches the cream pitcher. Is that not adorable? I love it. Maybe this is a little sugar bowl. It's a sugar bowl. It's a sugar bowl. I love that. I love this. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, this is handy. I need my knife. I need my knife to open this one. So, I don't know if you can see herb shears. Perfect. The perfect pairing for my, or compliment, to complement my basket. How cute are those? I even love the little paper with it. That is so pretty. Yay, I love it. Thank you, Linda. These are awesome. These will even be great for snipping my zinnias when I make bouquets. One item is broke. It looks like it was a beautiful plate. It was beautiful. Look, it looks like it was maybe a courier and Ives plate. This piece is up here. I might be able to doctor that. Let's see what else was in there. <gasps> no way. It's a plate that matches the sugar bowl and the the uh creamer that's so pretty roseville ohio look at the bot the little hands yeah this is definitely stoneware oh, i love it i love it so much oh there's another piece to the career and eyes please and then of course the basket i love the basket <laughs> I had a feeling that I recognized this Courier and Ives plate, but this plate was out of Linda's own personal collection. I, I thought I recognized it and I thought surely she didn't find another and it's sure enough, it's out of her collection. It's a beautiful collection. You can actually see pictures of it on her site. I'm going to try to glue it together and see if I can fix it because the pieces are pretty big and I think I might be able to salvage it. I can't bear to throw it away. I just can't, I can't do that. That's just, that's Linda. The generosity and the kindness to send me a beautiful plate out of her own collection. That's my beautiful friend, Linda. So now I'm gonna take these things that she got me and I'm going to do a little bit of decorating with them in my kitchen and share that, share that process or scene with you. but one little piece but we could not find that piece in the box I mean it doesn't look terrible without it, <laughs> it doesn't look great. we're gonna try to fix the hands they're just kind of <laughs> There. 
There we go. Awesome. Before we mow our yard, I'm gonna pick some of these buttercups because I am gonna put them in my cream pitcher for decoration. They're so pretty. That that basket's gonna be perfect for flowers. The hole in the plate behind my cutting board and it still works perfect you don't even know it's there you can barely see the cracks from the super glue from super gluing it together um, I mean if you're not looking close you can't even tell isn't that cute cute little little spot in my kitchen with the stuff that Linda sent me. I think it turned out great. I'm excited for Linda to see it. I absolutely love this, Linda. It turned out so pretty and I'm so excited. Be sure and check out Linda's video next to see what her gift basket looks like and what all I sent her and how she uses it and decorates with it. I'll see you guys next time.